part four of the week seven learning guide for college algebra. I can't believe we've gotten this far. We focused mainly on logarithms this week, and now we're ready to actually kind of dive into some examples of applications of how this all works and we put it together. Um, if this is the first time you're seeing my face, hi. My name is Dr. Marissa May. I'm on a mission to help students feel confident in their math classrooms by providing resources like this learning guide and these videos. And if you need some more help, please feel free to reach out. I've left my, you can leave a comment. I've left my socials here. If you want to reach out and connect with me that way, I would love the opportunity to help in any way that I can. Today, this video is going to focus on interest. And we're going to look at simple interest, and then we're going to turn our attention to compound interest. I will be using the Desmos graphing calculator as the calculator today only because it's free and available to everyone. I will link it below in the description. However, if you're using the 83 or 84 or some other calculator, that's totally fine. Um, I just present one that's available to everyone. So let's jump in. I've left you here in the notes the simple interest formula. It seems kind of easy, doesn't it? It's just a straight multiply. We find our interest by multiplying the principal by the rate as long as the rate's a decimal, times the time. So let's look at number one. We're use, asked to use the simple interest formula to find the sample interest um, for 6,000, a rate of 8%, and a T equaling 18 months. Now just a couple of conversions we need to make first. Um, my rate needs to be a decimal. And while 8.0 looks like a decimal, but it's still a percent. So if you remember, we're going to move our decimal two places to the left. So that would be 0 0.08. And then my time factor here has to be in years. So instead of 18 months, I'm going to use 1.5 years. Now I can plug it into my formula. So I've got I equals PRT. Interest equals principal times rate. Remember, it's got to be as a decimal times time in years. And I'm going to switch our view so you can see the Desmos graphing calculator. I'm just going to type this in. I've got 6,000 times 0 0.08 times 1.5. And I get that my interest will be $720. All right, let's switch our view back. I want to set up number two on paper first, and then I'm going to go to the calculator. So this formula actually gives us the amount of uh, interest, sorry, the amount left over after interest is compounded, um, not simple interest, okay? So a couple of things to know, P is still principal, K is our rate, remember it's got to be a decimal, and the new value is the N, and this is the number of times Interest is compounded in a year. So if we say it's compounded monthly, then that would be 12, right? If it's compounded biannually, that would be twice a year. If it's compounded weekly, that would be 52 times a year. So you get the idea. So let's see if we can identify our values. Um, it says to find the result amount, that's A, of $750 invested, so that tells me P is 750. It's invested at 7%, that tells me K is 0.07, remember as a decimal. And then I want it compounded monthly, that tells me N is 12. And I want it for four years, so T is four. So let's set this up. I've got A equals 750, one plus my 0 0.07 divided by 12, and then raise it to the 12 times 4. Now, I'm going to write out how I'm going to type this in Desmos only because I've got to add some extra parentheses, and I want to be real careful about that. So I've got 1 plus, and then I'm going to put parentheses, 0 0.07 divided by 12. I've got to close that parentheses, and then I'm going to do this multiplication in my head. 4 times 12 is 48. So I wrote it out in one single line so that I can just type it in my calculator. I also wanted you to be able to see it pretty clearly. So I'm going to type that in, 750 parentheses 1 plus parentheses 0.07 divided by 12, close, close, 
Now on Desmos, it's a little different. So we've got to use the right arrow to close and then close again. And now let's go caret 48. And so my amount is $991.54. So notice this formula does not give the interest. This formula gives the amount after interest has been added. Okay. And then let's look at number three. Luke invests $1,000 at 10% compounded monthly. So friends, we're saying that how long before he has 15,000? We know then that A is 15,000 and P is 1,000. We know K is 0 0.10 and T uh, N is 12 for the monthly. And then T is what we don't know. Okay, so I've got 15,000 equals 1,000. 1 plus 0 0.10 divided by 12 to the 12t. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide by 1,000 here. That's going to make that a little easier. Okay, now here's what I would do at this point. I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to put this as f of x, and I'm going to put this as g of x, okay? Um, I'm going to actually let the calculator do my heavy lifting here. So I'm going to put f of x equals 15, and I'm going to put g of x equals, and I know it didn't graph any, it actually did graph something, but um, you can't see it yet. And then it's going to be to the 12t. I'm going to have to zoom out because you can't see anything yet. Now you can see, oops, and I put a T instead of an X. Now you can see my horizontal line and you can see my, my graph. Now I'm going to move this over to the side here because I want you to be able to see that intersection right there. That's what we're looking for. That is our T value. T equals 27.193, and that is in years, okay? So you'll notice what I did is I set up my formula, and then I put one at, side of the equation as f of x. I put the other side as g of x, and then you may have to zoom out. The way I zoomed out, by the way, um, let me move my picture. The way I zoomed out is I clicked on this little minus button here that zooms me out further. And if you want to zoom in, you can do the plus there. Okay. So I'm going to switch our view back. So I hope that helps with our applications with some of the logarithm and the interest here. If you have questions or comments, as always, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love the opportunity to help. Bye for now.